Greetings in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We welcome you to the broadcast of the Anglican Diocese of the Trinity, a diocese of the Church of Nigeria, and part of the Church of Nigeria North American Mission. Our diocese covers United States of America, Canada, and Japan. Our mission is to build a Christ-centered, multicultural, multiracial, Bible-believing church that believes in the apostolic teaching and sensitive to human need. Our vision is to harvest the world for Christ. Feel free to join any of our churches across North America. Or you can reach us at adottcon at gmail.com or bishop at adott.org. God bless you. Praise the Lord. I am the Right Reverend Dr. Olukayode Adenola Adebogon, the Diocesan Bishop of the Anglican Diocese of the Trinity, covering Canada and United States of America. We also have a mission in Japan. And so we want to welcome you warmly to this maiden edition of Trinity Live, otherwise called Echoes of Trinity. It is a joy to have you listen to us. It is a joy to have you being part of this great program. And we trust God that these will impact lives and draw many to the kingdom in the name of Jesus Christ. Trinity Live is a weekly program of the Anglican Diocese of the Trinity. And we welcome you to stay tuned weekly and watch us. Why are we doing this program? Might be the question going on in your mind right now. Trinity Live will give you opportunity to listen and to understand the rudiment of our faith, which is the gospel of Christ, so that men will come to him. Our second goal is to introduce you to the diocese, Anglican diocese of the Trinity. We all know the ungodly compromises of the Episcopal Church in the United States and the Anglican Church of Canada. Sadly, Many of our people have moved away from those churches and joined other denominations. And we also know about the influx of immigrants in their great numbers to the United States and Canada. And many of our members come to these great countries and find themselves joining other denominations because they are not aware there is opportunity for authentic Anglicanism through our diocese. So this program will introduce people in different countries, Nigeria and other countries, to the Anglican Diocese of the Trinity so people know we're there, so people know there is opportunity for authentic Anglicanism. Let me say it again. We are Christians by faith, and of course, we are Anglican by choice. And so welcome to this special edition. Again, the Anglican Diocese of the Trinity is part of the Church of Nigeria North American Mission. It is a diocese of the Church of Nigeria. We are a multicultural, multiracial, multinational church committed to the apostles' teaching and meeting the human needs and declaring the authentic gospel of Christ. Our vision is to harvest the world for Christ. And we cover 26 states. I say it again, we cover 26 states in the United States of America and eight provinces in Canada. And we have churches in all these different places. Of course, we know there are states where still going to be planting new churches. We understand there are cities and provinces where new churches will come up because we are committed to this gospel. And so we want to encourage you. If you're hearing this, are you planning to visit North America or you're planning to relocate to North America? to make plans to reach out to us. Reach out to us through adottcon at gmail.com or you can also send another email to bishop at adott.org. 
That's bishop at adott.org. And of course, you can always contact us through our social media, Anglican Dows of the Trinity, on our Facebook, on our Twitter, on our Instagram. You know, we're looking forward to interacting with you. We want to make sure that you're well established when you come to North America. We want to make sure that you have a place of worship when you come to North America. And we want to make sure that you have a great encounter with the Lord Jesus Christ. And my prayer for you, that as you listen to this broadcast every week, that God himself will bless you, that God himself will refresh you, that God himself will pour his fresh anointing upon your life in the name of Jesus. Let me make another request of you, and that is, I'd like you to share this with your family members who are overseas. I want to share it with your friends, I want to share it with your neighbors, so that before they come to North America, they know that the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion have a mission in North America, in Canada, in United States, and in Japan. We have churches in Japan also. Again, don't forget, we're committed to the authentic gospel of Christ. We are committed to reaching out to everyone. Now that all these immigrants are coming in, you know that our countries, it would have been very difficult to take the gospel to them because of the challenge of persecution and other things. But guess what? Many of them are relocating now to North America for various reasons. And now we have opportunity. We have the privilege to reach out to them. We have the opportunity to pray for them. We have the opportunity to share the gospel of Christ. So we are counting on your support. We are counting on you praying for us. We are counting on you sharing this with your friends and family members so that they can be part of the mission. We are counting on you supporting us in every way possible through prayers, through your financial support, whatever it is the Lord places in your heart. Do it to ensure the continuity of this program. Trinity Life, gospel at your doorstep. And so as we begin this session, let me begin by sharing with you our theme for the year, 2023. And that is from 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 18. 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 18. And it says, but grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. That is an instruction there. You know, our brother Peter, you know, addressed many things in his letter. The first Peter, second Peter, you know, the two books. He talked about the compromises. He talked about the effect of the false doctrine and false teachers. He addressed the unity of the church and he addressed many things of value. But in the concluding verse, which is the test I just read to you, 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 18, that's what I call the climax of the message. With all I have said to you, my dear friends, with the challenges you have, with those who are denying the coming of the Lord, with the challenges you have with the false teachers, with the challenges you have around you, let me conclude by saying to you, says Brother Peter, but grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So Brother Peter is saying that even in the midst of all this confusion, there is something that can keep you going. There is something that can push you forward. There is something that can help you in the journey of your life. And that is growing in grace. Growing in grace. And in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. To grow is to develop. To grow is to move higher. To grow is to you know, develop in every area. We're talking of authentic growth. And so when Brother Peter is saying about grow in grace, he's saying, I need you believers to develop. I need you believer in Christ to draw closer to him. So, so he said, grow in grace. So what is grace? In this case, of course, you know grace is a merited favor. Grace is, you know, God's ability. Grace is that which you don't desire, but God has invested in you. And so, brother Peter is saying again, develop in that opportunity that God has given to you. Grow in grace. And the other part is in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. It is important for us to know him. It is important for us to understand him. And no wonder our brother, brother Paul, also made a reference to that. He says that I might know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship 
of each suffering. So what we're saying to you through Brother Peter in this second Peter chapter 3 verse 18 is that you need to develop in the undeserved, unmerited favor that comes from God and in the, on the deeper understanding, which is the knowledge, deeper understanding of our Lord Jesus Christ. What do you need to do to grow? And so Brother Paul knew very well, and Brother Peter also knew very well that the antidote to false teaching, the antidote to making people stay focused is to grow in grace. You cannot stop growing. If you stop growing, then you are going to decline. Then you can be trapped with false doctrines. One of the problems we have today is that many people are not growing. And it is therefore easy for the enemy to sweep them away. It is very easy for the enemy to, you know, push them aside. But for us, we're saying to you, just like Brother Peter said to his audience at that time, grow in grace. There is opportunity for you to grow in grace. And in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. It is the knowledge of Jesus Christ that will help you to know more of Him. That God will give you a clearer understanding of who He is. That God will speak to your heart. That God will be able to reveal Himself to you. And no wonder the scripture enjoins us to study, to show ourselves approved unto God, a workman that needs not to be ashamed. No wonder Brother Joshua also was given the same admonition that this book of the law must not depart out of your hand for you are required to meditate on it day and night so growing in the knowledge of our lord jesus christ is important for the journey of your life it is important for you to be able to overcome whatever it is that is happening around you and so in this episode we are going to talk about how to grow in grace we are going to talk about how we can grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. If that is what Brother Peter said to his own audience, if that is what you see in many pages of the New Testament and the Old Testament also, as a diocese, we're saying to you through Trinity Life today that you need to grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And that's why as a diocese, we declare this year a year of greater heights and growth, that this year we are going to grow, that this year we are going to move to the next level, that this year we are going to draw closer to God, that this year we are going to grow deeper in His love, we are going to grow deeper in the knowledge of Him, and I pray for you that that will be your experience also in the name of Jesus, that you will grow in grace, that you will grow in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ, that you will no longer be babies tossed to and fro by every false doctrine, that the Lord will strengthen you, that you will not make a shipwreck of your faith in the name of Jesus Christ. My brother, grow in grace. And we have a special intro for everyone, you know, to sing in the, across the diocese. And I'm going to ask you to consider that also. And that is the song that says, I'm pressing on the upward way. I'm pressing on the upward way. Why don't you let's sing that together? I'm pressing on the upward way. New heights I'm gaining every day, still praying as I award bound. Lord, plant my feet on higher ground. Lord, lift me up and let me stand by faith on heaven's stable land. Higher plain than I have found. Lord, plant my feet on higher ground. I want to scale the utmost high and catch a glimpse of glory. Right, but still I pray. Tears that far, Lord, lead me on to higher ground. Lord, lift me up and let me stand by faith on heaven's stable land. Higher plain than I have found. Lord, plant my feet on higher ground. That's our prayer for this year. And that's my prayer for you. 
that God will plant your feet on higher ground, that God will lift you up, that he will draw you closer to him, that your knowledge of him will increase, that your relationship with him will be strengthened, and that God will keep you going, will keep you burning until Jesus returns unto eternity in the name of Jesus. God bless you, and we look forward to you know, sharing with you in our next episodes and other episodes on how you can grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let's pray together. Father, we thank you for your children listening to this maiden edition of Trinity Life and the challenge you have given to us to grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. We pray, Lord, that you will help us to grow in grace daily, that you help us to take heed of this admonition and propose in our mind to grow in the name of Jesus. And we pray, oh God, for as many of your children planning to relocate to North America, that you will establish them and that you will speak to them through this gathering in the name of Jesus. Thank you, precious God. And unto God's gracious and mercy, I commit to you. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and grant you peace. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be and remain with you now and always. Amen. God bless you.